Hi everyone. In the previous class, we have seen the concept of relational algebra. Okay, means relational algebra is meant for to perform various kind of operation on the relations so that it is going to produce a new required relation right so here we have seen various kind of operations like selection projection data join natural join like natural join join all these things right and also we have seen various kind of uh, queries like uh, company database queries we have seen right around i think 30 queries we have seen and also we have seen uh, the silas database okay so with the help of this knowledge you can able to solve some of the gate questions that we'll see right now right let a relation r of attributes a comma b comma c relation s d comma e comma f be two relations in which d is the foreign key of s what does they mean there is a relation r which is having the attributes a b and c s is a relation attributes are d e f in which d is the foreign key d is the foreign key of s so it means that this act as a foreign key and that refers to the primary key of r right which is going to refer to primary key of the right right now i think they haven't given any kind of primary key right you can able to assume that any one of them has a primary key i am assuming that uh, like uh, c is the primary key i am assuming that c is the primary key okay fine consider the following four operands in r and s insert into r insert into s deletion from r deletion from s which of the above can cause violation of the relation integrity constraints of the above right so what does the meaning of this one they are trying to perform these four operations this for our operation which of the above four operations may lead to relation integrity constraint right so the re, the meaning of relation integrity constraint means when you are trying to work on multiple relations multiple relation there has to be a foreign key that foreign key if it is going to violate some kind of features i can call it as relation integrity constraint violation for example in the relation in the relation a b c i have data like 1 2 3 i am assuming that c is the primary key assuming that c is the primary key okay fine guys and def is one more uh, relation which contains certain data okay fine if i am trying to insert certain data here 3 4 5 what does the meaning of foreign key i hope you know it already right foreign key means which is contains whatever data that is available that should be compulsory a part of the primary key that should be compulsory part of the primary key okay if it is not the part of the primary key then it should not be inserted that is where i can call it as constraint violation right can i have the foreign key contains a null value yes it will it is possible it is possible can the foreign key allows duplicate values yes it is possible but the point here you have to understood that is whatever the values that are available in the foreign key those should be part of the primary key of other table or it may be in the same table also right so if we, this is the concept so with this concept can we able to solve this question let's try to think when i am trying to insert into r is there any violation of, uh, happened no right observe i am trying to insert 4 5 6 is there any problem i can able to insert any much amount of data there is no problem so there is no problem with the insert into R. But if you take insert into S, insert into, for example, I am trying to insert 6, 7, 8. Is there any violation? No violation because 6 exists here. There is no violation. But if I am trying to insert 8, 9, 10, is it going to be violation or like violation of the rule or not? Yes, it is going to be violation of the rule because 8 is not the part of the relation instance. So while inserting into yes there is a chance of getting constraint violation similar look into other options also deletion from r if i am going to delete something from the r for example i am trying to delete four five six if i am going to delete something from r i am trying to delete six also but there are certain kind of 
rows which are depend upon this 6 right so when i am trying to delete these directly is it going to be violation or not yes so option 3 also comes under violation of the constraint what about deletion from s if i am going to delete something from like 6 7 8 is there any problem no problem because it is it is depend on this one yes it is depend on r but not r is depend on s that's why deletion from s does not have any problem so option 2 and 3 uh, is going to be violating the relational integrity constraint okay fine so to solve this question you have to make sure that the meaning of r and t that's it okay now coming to the second question the following table has two attributes a and c where a is the primary key and c is the foreign key which is referring to a with on delete casket guys you know while i have explained the concept of foreign key i said there are two properties one is on delete cascade another one is on delete null right they have specifically mentioned on delete cascade means means whenever i am going to uh, delete something which is referred by primary key which is referred by primary key there is no problem but if i am going to delete the primary key all its dependence should be deleted dependence should be deleted right okay the set of all tuples that must be additionally deleted to preserve referential integrity when the tuple 2 comma 4 is deleted right meaning that when i am going to delete 2 comma 4 from the table to make it as a uh, preserve of the referential integrity what I have to do so simple thing is whatever the tuples that are depend upon this number 2 i have to delete those two but deleting these two means itself is a preserving the reference integrity no because if i am going to delete these two which means that it depends on five also right so five related tuples also should be deleted and there are no other what about the seven there are no other sevens also what about the number nine there are no other number nines so these are the tuples that has to be additionally deleted when you would like to preserve the referential integrity so 5 comma 2 7 comma 2 and 9 comma 5 but the question is but the question is if they are saying that c is the foreign key referencing a with on delete cascade with on delete null then what is your solution so the data will be 2 comma 4 3 comma 4 4 comma 3 5 comma 2 7 comma 2 9 comma 2 and 6 comma 4 if i am going to delete 2 comma 4 in on delete null what will happen nothing will happen simply in place of the uh, dependency locations i am going to place simply null values null values that's it i hope you understood clearly okay fine, fine. so so far we have seen uh, the company database and sales database now uh, we'll see one more kind of database to make it uh, convenient for you that is uh, college database okay in college database the schema is one is student which is having id and name enrolled is a schema which is having id and code and subject is a schema uh, which is having uh, code and professor okay so uh, here uh, by observing this one the student contains relation contains student id as well as student name and enrolled contains enroll id and enroll code meaning that simply the student is uh, like is taking which course that i can able to define with the help of uh, enrolled course right so okay and subject and its uh, subject code and its uh, professor okay so what are the names of the students enrolled in cs2102 what we can write here so they are asking for names of the students enrolled in cs see the code cs2102 and the students enrolled is available in which table enrolled table so from enrolled table enrolled table i can get the students i can get the student ids who are registered with cs2102 right so what i can do i can simply select code equal to cs2102 and which table enrolled table i am going to get certain data if this data this data i am going to perform 
join operation join operation with student table with student table i am going to get right e dot id equal to s dot id i am going to get all the students who are enrolled in the subject cs2102 from this what they are asking they are asking the name this is the corresponding query in order to get this one which subject is balakrishna taking okay here balakrishna may be professor right okay assume that uh, you can assume balakrishna as a student okay uh, right so balakrishna student is taking which sub uh, which subject we can simply define right first i will try to take out the id numbers of the student who id number of the student who is working with the name uh, balakrishna so select i am going to select the details which are having the name as balakrishna from which table student table so i get all the details and i need subject code and subject right they have specifically mentioned subject code right there are subject there are no subject name so i can have only subject code i am going to get subject code so that i i need to perform join operation with enroll data right now i can do like s yes dot id is equal to e dot id of enroll table if i am going to do this from this i can get subject code right this is very simple when you are able to practice the silas database as well as company database right? this is the first one and this is the second one next third one who teaches cs2102 right so you know subject code is here professor name is here what you can do simply project of professor name from which table from the subject table what is the condition you have to do subject code is cs2102 from the table is subject that's it next fourth one who teaches cs2102 or cs21202 what you can do simply project of the professor professor i am going to select course equal to cs2102 or course equal to cs 1202 from the again the subject table or another way is what you can try to take out uh, you can take out uh, the specific uh, subject uh, separately the subject separately and the sub sub separately then you can make use of uh, union also union also okay next one is uh, who teaches at least two different subjects guys i think in the last class i said this is kind of query is important and that i will discuss in the last class right see observe here find the names of the sailors who have at least two boats right is there any chance to solve this question find the names of sailors who reserved at least guys observe uh, uh, first we have to identify the uh, boat ids and their uh, registered by which uh, sailor right so that data is available in the reservation table reservation table right so for this simple solution is what we can able to simply uh, aggregate over the sailor id right so id group by count of from which table reservation table reservation table right so once you get this one once you get this one from this data i will try to select all the rows which are having greater than or equal to 2 greater than or equal to 2 or equal to 2 and i got all the ids which are registered at least two boats from this i need to get the names i can get the names like uh, r dot id equal to sailor dot id from the sailor table sailor table okay. from this i need to get their names i am going to project uh, i think s name or name whatever it may be 
right this is one kind of way you can able to write the query for this one or else if you want you can write in another way right Let's try to observe i will try to simplify it right i have a reservation table reservation table this reservation table i am going to perform join operation with the same reservation table same reservation table on what basis on the basis of their ids r dot id if i assume that this is r1 dot id this is r2 dot id r dot id what is going to get ma for example let me take uh, uh, id and boat id id is 1 boat id is 501 id is 2 boat id is 502 id is 1 boat id is 502 assume that this is my data what i am trying to do i am trying to perform join operation over the same table if i am going to perform join operation over the same table id boat id 1501 2502 1503 right so now here the point is i will take one more thing 3 find out 4 3 and find out now if you are going to perform join operation on the same table you will get this this is r1 table this is r2 table now they are going to match right this is match this one is match so if it is matched 1 501 1 501 and is this is also match then you got 1 501 1 503 similarly 2 to match 2 502 2 502 Do any matches? No. One again matched. One five zero three, one five zero one, one five zero three, one five zero three. Next three matches. Three five zero four, three five zero four. This is my resultant data. Okay, fine. Guys, if you are able to observe here, if you are able to observe here. There are uh, certain data you can able to observe. Right? There is a uh, SID is one, both SIDs are one, and their both IDs are different. Uh, both IDs find out one, find out two. What does the meaning of this one? The same ID registered with two boats. Can you able to identify this kind of data? Yes, right. That is the reason. Once you done with the uh, join operation or the same uh, relation, you can able to select select R one dot id r1 dot id should be equal to r2 dot id r2 dot id and and compulsory uh, what i can say uh, here you have to mention both id right so r1 dot did should not be equal to r2 dot did then we'll get the respect to data from that Reservation. You need to perform again natural join on R dot ID equal to S dot ID on the sales table. From this, you are going to simply project the right? yes. steps. Like this, you can able to write the another query. Okay, guys. Or else, sometimes what you can do instead of writing like this here completely as a separate, you can write in the join operation itself. Okay. That the same kind of question you observe here. Who teaches at least two different subjects, right? Observe here, uh, two different subjects. Who teaches means on the same subject thing. I am trying to perform join operation over the same subject relation. How I am going to do? S one dot code equal to or else we can able to make use of their names. S one dot Professor equal to S two dot professor and S one dot code should not be equal to S two dot code. S two dot code, right? So from that you are going to simply project their names. So project of simply professor. This is the corresponding query for the fifth one. Okay, fine. Next, what are the names of the students in CS two one zero two? Or CS one two zero two, right? So you can able to simply uh, select the enrolled table. From there you are going to get IDs, and then you can able to get their names. 
observe what I am trying to do. I am trying to select the course ID CS1202 or CS2102 course equal to from the enroll table. From this, I am going to get their IDs also. Then I am going to perform join operation over the IDs E dot SID equal to S dot S from the student table and this whole operation I am going to simply project the index. Okay, but next one. What are the names of the students in both CS2102 and CS1202? Guys, here if you observe, is it the related to the same uh, sixth query? Is it the correct course equal to CS1202 and course equal to CS2102? No, this is a completely a blender mistake. Why? Because there are no student who is going to have both 1202 as well as 2102. So, at the situation, what you have to do now? So, as like as earlier queries discussion, find the names of the sailors who have reserved red and green board. What I mentioned, I need to specifically take the red board, I need to specifically take the green board, then you have to apply the and operation. Okay? The same kind of query you can write. So, simply first I will go to select course equal to CS1202 from the enroll table. From this, I am going to get their IDs. Similarly, I am going to select IDs whose course is CS2102 from the enroll table. Then I am going to get all the data. Then I am going to perform join operation over IDs. E dot ID equal to S dot ID from the student table. Then from this, I am going to again project their names. This is the query for the seven. What are the names of the students in at least two different subjects, right? So you have to simply again write the group by operation on the student IDs. Then you will get uh, uh, like more than one uh, count maybe for the code. Then you can able to simply project the as like as. Uh, the fifth code, which is same as like fifth code. Right? What are the codes of all subjects taught? So you can able to write this query. So this is for uh, your work. So you can able to do from 9 to 11, 9 to 13. You can able to write yourself because these are all related model questions I have discussed earlier. Right? If you have any questions, you can ask in the class. Okay, fine. Next, we'll see a uh, few more questions. Uh, this is also one more kind of a question which was asked in the gate. Suppose the adjacency relation of vertices in a graph is represented by a table adjoint of x comma y, meaning that uh, they have a graph, they have a graph, that graph they are represented in the form of a relation or a table, that relation contains two columns x and y, x and y, which of the following queries cannot be expressed by a relational algebra expression express that is what right see observe try to uh, so what is the meaning of this one if i am saying that x is a vertex whose adjacent is y meaning that if i am saying that vertex one it's having adjacent is two is a vertex two having that adjacent is three two is having adjacent is four right for example three having the three what is the meaning of this one 3 is having kind of self loop, right? This is what uh, the meaning of this one, right? From this relation, can we able to uh, write the relational algebra expressions for the given queries? List all the vertices adjacent to a given vertex. Can we able to do this one? Yes. For example, I am asking you to find out all the vertices which are adjacent to number 2. What you can do simply select x equal to 2 from relation ADC. So are you going to get the 3 and 4 or not? Yes. So I can able to get this one. List all the vertices which are having the self loops. Can we able to write the query? Yes. Select x equal to y adjoint. So you can able to write the query. List all the vertices which belongs to cycles of less than 3 vertices. Can we able to write this one? So which is equivalent to find out uh, who teaches at least two different subjects which is equivalent to find out who have at least two different boards yes so the question is like 
list all the vertices which belongs to cycles of less than 3 vertices you can able to so simple thing is you can take out one more same duplicate relation and try to perform uh, join operation over these two and you can able to find out the same vertex with different adjacent vertices so that i can able to find that they are having at least two vertices or less than three vertices we can we can write the query for this also what about this one list all the vertices reachable from the given vertex meaning that once i have given the vertex one you need to uh, define all the reachable vertices all the reachable vertices what are the reachable vertices 1 2 2 2 2 3 2 2 like the different right this may be led to an infinite length you cannot able to define where it is going to be stopped but suppose for example if it is reaches to 4 from that you need to come back to 3 3 2 again somewhere so like so it's a kind of a looping looping has to be done right but in relational algebra it couldn't possible to write the looping concept so option d is the correct answer relational algebra query you cannot able to write for the option d okay next question let r and s be the two relations with the following schema so they have given here two schemas one is r another one is s r contains uh, attributes p q r1 r2 r3 these two are primary attributes and s contains the relation p q s1 s2 here also p q r the primary right this is r where p comma q combination is the key for both schemas which of the following queries are equivalent right meaning that uh, which of the following uh, queries are going to produce the equivalent data so in order to solve this question we'll try to take some example for example 1 uh, finite one s1 s2 okay something like j1 j2 and 1 501 some data uh, something like k yeah 2 finite 2 j3 j4 j2 what are it may be 2 finite 3 m and i am assuming that uh, one more example one more one more thing 1 uh, finite 4 J5, J6, J3. Can you see this data is possible or not? Try to observe. It is possible. It is possible because because these two combinedly call it as a primary key. Combinedly call it as a primary key. Okay, fine. This is my data existed. Now try to perform the operations on this one. I am trying to perform project of P while joining operation over R and S. Right? If you are going to join R and S, R and S. For the P and Q primary keys, what is the data you are going to get? You are going to get one, five zero one, J one, J two, J three, K and Y. Is it not? Yes, because uh, the primary key is one and finite one. So both have to be matched. When both have to match, the resultant will be getting as a result. Okay. For this result, they are trying to project the P. What is P here? One. So for this one. the result is 1 what about this project of p over r uh, cross product with the natural join with the or join with the project of p over s right if you are trying to perform project of p from this one you are going to get 1 2 from this you are going to get 1 2 why you are going to get 1 2 guys because uh, in relational algebra it is going to eliminate the duplicate because relational algebra itself is a sets right from this you are going to get 1 uh, 2 from or from s you are going to get 1 2 if you are performing join operation for these two you are going to get again 1 2 1 so result will be 1 2 as a relation here it will be only 1 right meaning that 1 and 2 are not equivalent so with this we can able to eliminate the option right only 1 and 2 1 and 2 are not itself equivalent so option a is wrong right this option c also wrong only 1 and 2 right this is eliminated okay what about the option b 1 and 3 1 and 3 4 okay next try to take out the third one if you are trying to perform first try to do the inner one project of p comma q on r so i am going to do projecting 
p comma q this entire data and from s i am going to project this entire data and from that i am going to perform and operation meaning that intersection operation right so when you are trying to perform intersection operation compulsory they should be equivalent first type compatible should be there right type compatible is there so i am trying to perform uh, intersection so you are going to get the common data is 1501 1501 as the relation on that i am going to project p what is p now only one only one so one and three are same as of now so option b may be correct which is having four also right now try to check so fourth one so here in order to solve this first try to solve the rightmost expression in the subtraction so project of p comma q on r minus project of p comma q on s right so what you are going to get from this one you are going to get uh, uh, two five zero two one five zero four right so the elements which are present in p but not in q that is what right these two are going to be projected from this i am trying to produce i am trying to subtract from this one right so the element, so this is i am now it has a so let me take this as j this as a k now this is k relation data this is j relation data right from this one you are trying to subtract this one so the elements which are present in p but not in q but not in q so you are going to get again 1501 is the new relation from this one you are going to again project p p attribute is this one right so you are going to get the data as yes. the data is one right so this also yielding the same result so 1 3 4 are the correct answers so option d is the correct one okay these are the sum of the gate questions that may uh, that asked in the previous years i hope you understood clearly thank you